Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl is a profound and enlightening book that explores the author's experiences as a Holocaust survivor and his development of logotherapy, a form of existential analysis. Here are seven key points to learn from the book. 1. The Search for Meaning Frankl argues that the primary drive in human beings is not pleasure as Freud suggested or power as Adler suggested, but the pursuit of meaning. Even in the most extreme and difficult circumstances, individuals can find meaning in their lives, which gives them the strength to endure suffering. 2. Freedom of Choice Frankel emphasizes the importance of recognizing our freedom to choose our attitudes and responses to life's challenges, regardless of external circumstances. Even in the face of unavoidable suffering, individuals can choose how they perceive and respond to their circumstances. 3. Finding Purpose Through his experiences in the concentration camps, Frankel observed that those who survived often had a sense of purpose or meaning to live for. Finding a purpose beyond oneself, whether it be through work, relationships, or spiritual beliefs, can provide resilience and inner strength during difficult times. 4. Suffering as a Path to Growth Frankel suggests that suffering is an unavoidable part of life, but it can also serve as a catalyst for personal growth and transformation. By confronting suffering with courage and resilience, Individuals can find meaning, even in the most challenging circumstances. 5. Attitude Toward Suffering Frankel distinguishes between suffering that is unavoidable such as physical pain or loss, and the suffering that comes from one's attitude toward adversity. While we may not always have control over external events, we can choose our attitude toward suffering and find meaning in it. 6. Transcending Circumstances Frankel encourages readers to transcend their circumstances and find meaning in life beyond the present moment. By connecting with something greater than oneself, whether it be love, creativity, or a sense of duty, individuals can find purpose and fulfillment even in the midst of suffering. 7. The Power of Hope Throughout the book, Frankel emphasizes the importance of hope as a driving force for resilience and survival. Even in the darkest moments, holding on to hope and envisioning a better future can provide the strength to endure hardship and overcome adversity. These key points from Man's Search for Meaning offer profound insights into the human experience and provide valuable lessons on finding meaning, purpose, and resilience in the face of adversity. Let's explore the key points from The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. 1. The Present Moment Toll emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment, as it is the only moment that truly exists. By focusing our attention on the present, we can free ourselves from the burdens of the past and worries about the future, leading to greater peace and clarity. 2. Identification with the Ego Toll discusses the concept of the ego, which he describes as the false sense of self that is based on identification with thoughts, emotions, and external possessions. He suggests that much of human suffering arises from this identification with the ego and the constant stream of thoughts in the mind. 3. The Pain Body Toll introduces the concept of the pain body, which he describes as a collection of past emotional pain that resides within us. The pain body can become activated in certain situations, leading to negative emotions and reactive behavior. By becoming aware of the pain body and observing it without judgment, we can lessen its grip on our lives. 4. Presence and Awareness Toll teaches techniques for cultivating presence and awareness in everyday life. This involves learning to observe our thoughts and emotions without being consumed by them, as well as practicing mindfulness and staying connected to the sensations of the body. 5. Acceptance and Surrender Toll emphasizes the importance of accepting the present moment as it is, without resistance or judgment. He suggests that true surrender to the present moment brings about a deep sense of peace and inner freedom. 6. The Illusion of Time 
Tull challenges the notion of time as a linear concept and suggests that past and future are mental constructs that distract us from the reality of the present moment. By letting go of attachment to time, we can experience a deeper sense of presence and aliveness. 7. The Essence of Being Toll explores the concept of being beyond the realm of thought and ego. He suggests that true fulfillment and happiness come from connecting with our essence, which is characterized by a state of inner peace, joy, and interconnectedness with all of life. The Power of Now offers profound insights into the nature of consciousness and provides practical guidance for living a more fulfilling and awakened life. Let's delve into the key points from The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. 1. Principle-Centered Living Covey introduces the concept of principle-centered living, which involves aligning one's actions with timeless principles, such as integrity, honesty, and respect for others. He argues that living according to principles leads to greater effectiveness and fulfillment in both personal and professional life. 2. Begin with the end in mind. Covey emphasizes the importance of having a clear vision of one's goals and values. He encourages readers to envision their ideal future and then work backward to identify the steps needed to achieve it. By starting with the end in mind, individuals can prioritize their actions and make choices that align with their long-term objectives. 3. Put first things first. Colby introduces the concept of time management based on the distinction between urgent and important tasks. He argues that effective individuals prioritize important tasks, those that contribute to long-term goals over urgent tasks, those that demand immediate attention but may not be important in the long run. By focusing on first things first, individuals can allocate their time and energy more effectively. Four. Think win-win. Covey advocates for a mindset of mutual benefit in interpersonal relationships and negotiations. He suggests that effective individuals seek solutions that are mutually beneficial and strive for win-win outcomes, rather than resorting to win-lose or lose-win approaches. By fostering cooperation and collaboration, individuals can build stronger relationships and achieve better results. Five. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Covey emphasizes the importance of empathetic listening in communication. He encourages individuals to truly understand others' perspectives before expressing their own views. By listening with empathy and seeking to understand, individuals can build trust and rapport, leading to more effective communication and problem solving. 6. Synergize Covey introduces the concept of synergy, which he defines as the combined power of individuals working together to achieve more than they could individually. He encourages individuals to embrace diversity and leverage the unique strengths and perspectives of each team member. By fostering synergy, groups can generate creative solutions and achieve greater results than would be possible alone. 7. Sharpen the Saw Covey emphasizes the importance of self-renewal and continuous improvement. He encourages individuals to take care of their physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being through activities such as exercise, learning, relaxation, and reflection. By regularly sharpening the saw, individuals can maintain their effectiveness and sustain long-term success. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People offers a comprehensive framework for personal and professional development based on timeless principles of effectiveness and integrity. Let's explore the key points from How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. 1. The Power of Genuine Interest Carnegie emphasizes that showing genuine interest in others is a cornerstone of building successful relationships. He encourages individuals to take a sincere interest in people's lives, hobbies, aspirations, and challenges. By actively listening and asking thoughtful questions, individuals can foster connections based on mutual respect and understanding. This genuine interest demonstrates to others that you value them as individuals, which can lead to deeper and more meaningful relationships. 
2. The Principle of Appreciation Carnegie highlights the importance of expressing appreciation and praise towards others. He argues that people thrive on recognition and acknowledgement of their efforts and accomplishments. By offering genuine praise and recognition for the contributions of others, individuals can boost morale, motivate others to perform at their best, and strengthen interpersonal bonds. This principle underscores the power of positive reinforcement in fostering a collaborative and supportive environment. 3. The Importance of Listening Carnegie stresses the significance of active listening in effective communication. He emphasizes the need to listen attentively to others without interrupting or passing judgment. By truly hearing what others have to say and empathizing with their perspectives, individuals can build trust, empathy, and rapport. Listening with genuine interest and empathy validates others' experiences and feelings, fostering deeper connections and understanding in relationships. 4. Avoiding Criticism and Condemnation Carnegie advises against criticizing or condemning others, as it can damage relationships and create resentment. Instead, he advocates for providing constructive feedback and focusing on solutions rather than blame. By approaching conflicts and disagreements with tact and diplomacy, individuals can address issues without causing offense or resentment. This principle highlights the importance of maintaining positive and respectful communication, even in challenging situations. 5. Seeing things from others' perspectives. Carnegie encourages individuals to practice empathy and understanding in their interactions with others. He emphasizes the importance of considering others' thoughts, feelings, and motivations when communicating. By putting oneself in others' shoes and seeing situations from their perspective, individuals can build empathy and foster stronger connections. This empathetic approach to communication cultivates trust, respect, and cooperation in relationships, leading to more positive and harmonious interactions. 6. The Art of Diplomacy Carnegie discusses strategies for handling disagreements and conflicts with diplomacy and tact. He advises individuals to approach contentious situations with a calm and respectful demeanor, seeking common ground and mutually beneficial solutions. By maintaining a diplomatic and non-confrontational attitude, individuals can diffuse tension, build consensus, and resolve conflicts amicably. This principle underscores the importance of fostering a culture of collaboration and cooperation in interpersonal interactions. 7. The Power of Influence Carnegie explores strategies for positively influencing others and gaining their cooperation. He suggests appealing to people's self-interest and demonstrating how they can benefit from aligning with one's goals. By highlighting the potential benefits of cooperation and collaboration, individuals can inspire others to action and foster a sense of shared purpose. Additionally, Carnegie emphasizes the importance of using praise and encouragement to motivate others and reinforce desired behaviors. This principle illustrates the power of positive reinforcement in shaping behavior and fostering mutual respect and appreciation. These key points from How to Win Friends and Influence People offer valuable insights into building successful relationships, enhancing communication skills, and positively influencing others in both personal and professional settings. Let's explore the key points from Atomic Habits by James Clear. 1. The Power of Atomic Habits Clear introduces the concept of atomic habits, which are small, incremental changes that lead to significant improvements over time. He argues that focusing on small actions and habits can have a compounding effect on personal growth and success. 2. Habit Loop Clear explains the habit loop, which consists of cue, craving, response, and reward. He suggests that understanding this loop can help individuals identify and modify their habits more effectively. By recognizing the cues that trigger certain behaviors and reshaping the responses to those cues, Individuals can create positive habits and break negative ones. 3. Habit Stacking Clear introduces the concept of habit stacking, 
which involves linking new habits to existing ones. By incorporating new habits into established routines, individuals can make them more automatic and sustainable over time. This strategy helps to leverage the power of existing habits to build new ones. 4. The 1% Rule Clear discusses the principle of continuous improvement, often referred to as the 1% Rule. He suggests that making small, incremental improvements consistently over time can lead to significant progress. By focusing on getting 1% better each day, individuals can achieve remarkable results in the long run. 5. Environment Design Clear emphasizes the importance of designing environments that support desired habits and discourage undesirable ones. He suggests making changes to one's physical and social environment to make positive behaviors easier and negative ones more difficult. By shaping the context in which habits occur, individuals can set themselves up for success. 6. Identity-Based Habits Clear proposes that changing habits begins with changing one's identity. He argues that behavior change is more effective when it is aligned with one's identity and values. By adopting the identity of someone who embodies the desired habits, individuals can reinforce positive behaviors and sustain them over time. 7. The Importance of Consistency Clear highlights the significance of consistency in habit formation. He suggests that establishing a regular practice, even if it is small, is key to building lasting habits. By committing to showing up and taking action consistently, individuals can create momentum and make progress towards their goals. These key points from Atomic Habits provide practical strategies for building and maintaining positive habits, breaking bad ones, and achieving personal and professional growth. Let's explore the key points from Mindset, The New Psychology of Success by Carol Dweck. 1. The Fixed Mindset vs. The Growth Mindset. Dweck introduces the concept of two mindsets, the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. In a fixed mindset, individuals believe their abilities and intelligence are static traits that cannot be changed. In contrast, those with a growth mindset believe that their abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. 2. The Power of Belief Dweck emphasizes the impact of mindset on behavior, achievement, and success. She suggests that individuals' beliefs about their own abilities shape their attitudes towards challenges, effort, and setbacks. Those with a growth mindset are more likely to embrace challenges persist in the face of obstacles, and view failure as an opportunity for learning and growth. 3. Embracing Challenges Dweck discusses the importance of embracing challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. She argues that those with a growth mindset see challenges as a chance to develop new skills and improve their abilities. By embracing challenges rather than avoiding them, individuals can cultivate resilience adaptability, and perseverance. 4. The Role of Effort Dweck highlights the significance of effort in achieving success and mastery. She suggests that individuals with a growth mindset understand that effort is essential for learning and improvement. Instead of relying solely on innate talent or intelligence, they are willing to invest time and energy into developing their skills and achieving their goals. 5. Learning from failure. Dweck explores the importance of learning from failure and setbacks. She argues that those with a growth mindset view failure as a natural part of the learning process and an opportunity for feedback and growth. Instead of being discouraged by failure, they use it as motivation to try again and approach challenges with renewed determination. 6. Cultivating a Growth Mindset Dweck provides strategies for cultivating a growth mindset in oneself and others. She suggests praising effort, persistence, and strategies rather than intelligence or talent. Additionally, she encourages individuals to reframe challenges as opportunities for growth, seek constructive feedback, and embrace a lifelong journey of learning and development. 7. 
applying the growth mindset in various contexts. Dweck discusses how the growth mindset can be applied in various areas of life, including education, business, sports, and relationships. She highlights the benefits of adopting a growth mindset in these contexts, such as increased resilience, creativity, and collaboration, as well as improved performance and achievement. These key points from Mindset, the new psychology of success, offer valuable insights into the power of mindset in shaping behavior, achievement, and personal growth. Let's explore the key points from Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goleman. 1. Understanding Emotional Intelligence I. Goleman introduces the concept of emotional intelligence, which encompasses the ability to recognize, understand, and manage one's own emotions, as well as the ability to recognize, understand, and influence the emotions of others. He argues that I plays a critical role in personal and professional success, often even more so than intellectual intelligence. 2. The Components of Emotional Intelligence Goleman outlines five key components of emotional intelligence. Self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. These components collectively contribute to an individual's ability to navigate social interactions, manage relationships, and make sound decisions. 3. Self-awareness. Goleman emphasizes the importance of self-awareness, which involves being in tune with one's own emotions, strengths, weaknesses, values, and goals. He suggests that self-awareness lays the foundation for developing other aspects of emotional intelligence and is essential for personal growth and self-improvement. 4. Self-regulation. Goleman discusses the concept of self-regulation which refers to the ability to control one's impulses, emotions, and reactions in various situations. He suggests that self-regulation allows individuals to think before acting, manage stress effectively, and maintain composure in challenging circumstances. 5. Motivation Goleman explores the role of motivation in emotional intelligence, highlighting the importance of setting and pursuing meaningful goals even in the face of obstacles and setbacks. He suggests that individuals with high emotional intelligence are driven by a strong sense of purpose, passion, and resilience. 6. Empathy Goleman emphasizes the significance of empathy, which involves understanding and empathizing with the emotions and perspectives of others. He suggests that empathy fosters deeper connections, effective communication, and collaboration in interpersonal relationships. 7. Social Skills Goleman discusses the importance of social skills, which encompass a range of abilities such as communication, conflict resolution, teamwork, and leadership. He suggests that individuals with high emotional intelligence excel in building and maintaining positive relationships, influencing others, and navigating social dynamics effectively. 8. Developing Emotional Intelligence Goleman provides strategies for developing emotional intelligence, including self-reflection, mindfulness practices, seeking feedback, practicing empathy, and honing interpersonal skills. He suggests that emotional intelligence is not fixed and can be cultivated through deliberate effort and practice over time. These key points from Emotional Intelligence offer valuable insights into the importance of emotional intelligence in personal and professional life, as well as practical strategies for developing and enhancing eye skills. Let's explore the key points from The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. 1. Understanding Habits Duhigg introduces the concept of habits and explains how they are formed through a loop of cue, routine, and reward. He suggests that habits are ingrained patterns of behavior that are shaped by repetition and reinforcement. 2. The Habit Loop Duhigg discusses the habit loop in detail, emphasizing the role of cues or triggers that initiate habitual behavior, routines or actions that follow the cue, and rewards that reinforce the behavior. 
He suggests that understanding this loop is key to identifying and changing habits. 3. The Golden Rule of Habit Change Duhigg introduces the golden rule of habit change, which is to keep the cue and reward the same, but change the routine. He suggests that by identifying the cues and rewards associated with a habit, individuals can replace the routine with a new behavior while still satisfying the underlying craving. 4. Habit Formation in Individuals Duhigg explores how habits are formed at the individual level, drawing on research from neuroscience and psychology. He suggests that habits emerge as the brain seeks ways to conserve energy and automate routine behaviors, allowing individuals to focus on more complex tasks. 5. The Power of Keystone Habits Duhigg discusses the concept of keystone habits, which are small changes that have disproportionate effects on other areas of life. He suggests that by identifying and focusing on keystone habits, individuals can catalyze positive changes in multiple aspects of their lives. 6. Habit Formation in Organizations Duhigg explores how habits shape organizational culture and performance. He suggests that successful organizations often have strong habits around communication, collaboration, and decision-making, which contribute to their effectiveness and success. 7. The Role of Willpower Duhigg discusses the role of willpower in habit formation and change. He suggests that willpower is a finite resource that can be depleted over time, making it difficult to sustain behavior change through sheer force of will. Instead, he advocates for creating environments and routines that support desired habits. 8. Harnessing the Power of Habits Duhigg provides practical strategies for harnessing the power of habits to achieve personal and organizational goals. He suggests that by understanding how habits work and deliberately shaping their cues, routines, and rewards, individuals can create positive behavior patterns that lead to success and fulfillment. These key points from The Power of Habit offer valuable insights into the science of habit formation and change, as well as practical strategies for harnessing the power of habits to achieve personal and organizational goals. Let's explore the key points from Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. 1. Dual Process Theory Kahneman introduces the concept of dual process theory, which proposes that human thinking operates through two distinct systems, System 1 and System 2. System 1 is fast, automatic, and intuitive, while System 2 is slow, deliberate, and analytical. Two. System 1. Intuitive Thinking Kahneman describes System 1 as the intuitive and automatic mode of thinking that operates based on heuristics or mental shortcuts. This system allows individuals to make quick judgments and decisions with minimal effort, but can also lead to biases and errors. 3. System 2. Analytical Thinking Kahneman discusses System 2 as the analytical and deliberate mode of thinking that involves conscious reasoning and effortful processing. This system is used for tasks that require attention, concentration, and logical reasoning, such as solving complex problems or making difficult decisions. 4. Cognitive Biases Kahneman explores various cognitive biases that arise from the interaction between systems 1 and 2. He describes biases such as confirmation bias, availability heuristic, and anchoring effect, which can lead individuals to make irrational judgments and decisions. 5. Prospect Theory Kahneman introduces prospect theory, which describes how individuals perceive and evaluate risks and rewards. He suggests that people are more sensitive to losses than gains and often make decisions based on perceived changes from a reference point, rather than absolute values. 6. Heuristics and Biases in Decision-Making Kahneman discusses how heuristics and biases influence decision-making processes in various domains, including economics, finance, medicine, and public policy. He suggests that understanding these biases is essential for making better decisions and avoiding common pitfalls. 
7. Expert Intuition Kahneman explores the concept of expert intuition, which refers to the ability of experienced individuals to make accurate judgments and decisions based on intuition and pattern recognition. He suggests that expert intuition can be developed through deliberate practice and feedback, but is not always reliable. 8. Happiness and Well-Being Kahneman discusses research on happiness and well-being, highlighting the distinction between the experiencing self and the remembering self. He suggests that individuals' subjective experiences of happiness are influenced by factors such as momentary pleasures, life satisfaction, and overall life evaluation. His key points from thinking fast and slow offer valuable insights into the complexities of human thinking, decision-making, and behavior, as well as practical implications for improving decision-making and understanding human cognition. The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz presents ancient Toltec wisdom distilled into four powerful principles for personal freedom and fulfillment. Let's explore these agreements. 1. Be impeccable with your word. This agreement emphasizes the importance of integrity in communication. Rees suggests that being impeccable with your word means speaking with honesty and integrity, avoiding gossip and harmful speech, and using your words to uplift and empower yourself and others. 2. Don't take anything personally. Rees encourages readers to recognize that others' words and actions are a reflection of their own beliefs, perceptions, and experiences, rather than a reflection of your worth or identity. By not taking things personally, individuals can free themselves from unnecessary suffering and maintain inner peace. 3. Don't make assumptions. This agreement urges individuals to avoid making assumptions about others' intentions, beliefs, or motivations. Rees suggests that making assumptions can lead to misunderstandings, conflicts, and unnecessary suffering. Instead, he encourages clear communication, asking questions, and seeking clarification when in doubt. 4. Always do your best. Rees emphasizes the importance of doing your best in every situation, regardless of the circumstances. He suggests that doing your best means giving your full effort and attention to whatever you are doing, whether it's work, relationships, or self-care. By doing your best consistently, you can avoid self-judgment and regret and experience greater fulfillment and success. These four agreements offer a framework for living with authenticity, integrity, and inner peace. By incorporating these principles into your life, you can cultivate greater self-awareness emotional resilience, and personal freedom.